Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and the AMC 10 and AMC 12 are coming up real fast, so this will be our final preparation video. This is a 24 taken from an AMC 12 that I actually made with a friend of mine for our uh, local school. But since we already have the test taken, uh, I'm going to talk about it in this video now. So let's first read the problem. A bag has a 123 slips of paper, three of which read game over, while the rest are standard dollar bills. A player takes one object at a time at random from the bag. If a player draws a game over paper from the bag, then the game is finished. What should the player pay to play this game and expect to break even on average? So essentially what the question is asking is, uh, on average, how many dollars do you expect to earn if you just don't pay anything? So how should we go about solving this problem? Well, one idea would be to simply just bash it all out. For example, we can find the probability that you get zero dollars. We can find the probability that you get one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, all the way to one hundred and twenty dollars, and then find the expected value that way by multiplying the probability by the number of ways we can have that probability happen. Uh, but if you think about it, this isn't very practical because in order to find the probability that you get zero dollars, well, you first need a game over and then you need to order the 122 papers with two of them being game over. So that's 122 choose two where you get zero dollars. And then if you want to get one dollar, then you first have to have a dollar bill, then a game over. And then now you have 121 choose two different ways to order it and then 2 times 120 choose 2 plus and so on and so forth and actually you can solve the problem this way and it's a legitimate way to solve it however there is an easier method which I will show it to you and this method is actually applicable to a lot of different scenarios where just simply calculating the expected value directly might not be the easiest way to solve it. This is a very it's a, it's a very interesting strategy that might not intuitively make sense at first, but I'll try to explain it so it intuitively makes sense. The idea here is that if we or if we draw slips one at a time from the bag, it's the same thing as randomly ordering all the slips all in a line, for example, Let's say M is for money, so uh, money, 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 game over. I suppose game over should be a G. For example, ordering it all in a line, and then our draw is basically just you draw the first one in the list, then the second one on the list, and then you keep on drawing until you get to a game over. So now the question is, on average, if you order 123 slips of paper, three of which are game over, and the rest are dollar bills, uh, randomly, then when uh, approximately will the first game over happen? So that is our new question. Now here's the clever part. Essentially what we're doing here is instead of thinking that M's and G's as just slips of paper, we can think of G's as a sort of divider that divides the M's into different groups. For example, if we have an M, M, G, M, 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 G, G, M, then we have four groups that the M's are divided into. This first, first group with two M's, the second group with three M's, this third group with zero M's, and this fourth group with one M. So if we randomly order 120 M's and three dividers, now the question is, when does the first divider occur? Well, if you're ever familiar with sticks and stones, you might be, you might recognize that this divider thing is a similar strategy to what you use as sticks and stones. In sticks and stones, you start out with, say, three different bags, or four different bags, and then you use sticks and stones to use three dividers to divide these four bags, the objects of these four bags, like so. For example, if this was a divider here, divider here, divider here, then this would correspond to the first bag, this is the second bag, this is the contents of the third bag, and this is the contents of the fourth bag. 
So we we in the sticks and stones method, we start out with bags and then we end up with this divider idea. So in this case, let's instead start out with this divider idea and then reverse engineer it back into the bag idea. So in this case, our new question is if we have four bags. If we have four bags, since we have three uh, three game over, i.e. three dividers, that gives four bags. If we have four bags, and then we randomly distribute the M's through out to these bags, then on average, how many M's are in the first bag? That is our new question. And now you see a step by step by going through this process, our problem becomes more and more obvious. By now, I think you all should be able to figure out more or less that on average, every single one of these bags should have the same amount of money. If you distribute it randomly, then on average, of course, they should all have the same amount of money. Well, we have $120 at the start. And then we end up with 120 divided by 4, which is 30 dollars in the first bag, 30 dollars in the second bag, 30 dollars in the third bag, and 30 dollars in the fourth bag on average. So this means that the number of dollars we get on average before going to the first game over, in other words, going to the first divider, in other words, going to the next bag, is 30. So our answer is actually, we don't actually have to consider any sort of range like the problem statements tells us. We actually have an exact answer of $30. So our final answer would be C, between $25 and $35. So actually, what I did here uh, is I put a range because if you were to do it this way, it might seem like a lot of calculation. You might get the wrong idea of having this calculation be approximated because the answers are all approximated. You might think that the only way to solve this is to approximate the answer. So, But this is a red herring that I put. The actual answer is a number, actually quite nice number that you can find out. And the best way to find it out, I believe, is to consider the transformation from this sort of ordering to this bag idea. You may have heard of this idea somewhere else before. For example, a very classical use of this idea is if you have a standard 52 deck cards, deck of cards that you shuffled, how many cards should you expect to draw before drawing your first ace? And in that case, the aces count as dividers, and then the 48 remaining cards are the dollars, the balls, whatever. And then the, essentially the answer would just be 48 divided by 5, since 4 aces makes 5 bags. So 48 divided by 5, whatever that answer is, is the number of cards you should expect to draw before drawing your first ace. So I hope you understand basically how this principle works. And... Uh, Good luck on the AMC 10 slash 12. Hey guys, Zong here, back with another math video. Today we're going to be doing a problem that I wrote. I think it's about AMC 12.